Here's a really good sentence and actually a couple of expressions from this TED Talk. It was always in the back of my mind as the obvious crown jewel of solos. Wow. Yeah, a lot in that, huh? So I have a question. So what does uh, a crown jewel mean? Yeah. So first say crown jewel. Crown jewel. 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 Yeah, like jewel. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Crown jewel. You know, and crown jewel just means the best of something. Okay. So it's um, something that's, you know, either the best or the most important. Mm -hmm. So here he's saying that, and he's talking about climbs, right? So mm -hmm. he's talking about what was the best, the most important of all the solo climbs. So the mm -hmm. crown jewel. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now that we've talked about that, because that was the other thing I wanted to explain, uh, will you read the sentence? Sure. It was always in the back of my mind as the obvious crown jewel of solos. Very good. Okay. So how about then the expression in the back of my mind? Are you familiar with that? I think I I am a little bit, but I barely use it. Because, okay. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Um. Well, maybe sometimes you don't use something because you're not completely sure of what it means. And so better to say it a different way than yeah. to say it and have somebody say, what are you talking about? <laughs> if I know the meaning of the expression, is it like a similar to the expression like in, in the back burner? Put it in my back burner or yeah, something I, like that? Yeah, I think that? that I would call those similar. Okay. Right? Or it's not my priority. Right. It's it's there. Mm -hmm. Well, here, let's talk about the definition. Okay. If it's in the back of your mind, or some people will say at the back of your mind, it means something's in your thoughts, but it's just not your main concern. Mm, okay. Okay. So kind of like the back burner. Um, I'm going to put that on the back burner. I mean, think of your you know, head. That's the back of your head. So, and that's just an expression also saying that you're just going to kind of temporarily forget about it. It's not a big deal right now. Okay. 시간이 없어서 영어를 연습할 환경이 안 돼서 자꾸 영어 실력이 줄고만 있는 것 같아서 고민이신가요? 여러분도 이제 미국 원어민 선생님과 50분간 100% 영어로 진행하는 수업을 통해서 조금 더 정확하고 자연스러운 영어를 배울 수 있습니다. 저처럼 여러분들도 하실 수 있어요. 고민하지 마시고 지금 바로 시작해 보세요. So here's another example. The idea to buy a new car was in the back of his mind. Mm. Right? Like mm -hmm. maybe you know your car's getting old, you know you're going to have to replace it. So it's kind of you're thinking about it, but it's in the back of your mind mm -hmm. because it doesn't have to happen right now. Right. But when the car breaks down, then it becomes a priority. Right, right. Right? Yep. So how about if you would read the example sentence? Of course. Um, the idea to buy a new car was in the back of his mind. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay. Really good pronunciation on that. I didn't come up with any great synonyms for in the back of my mind, but I guess you did. Huh? Back oh, burner. thank you. Put that on the back burner. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought instead I would ask you if you have any thoughts or ideas that are currently in the back of your mind. Currently, um, I think thinking about um, where to go, um, where I should go to and for my vacation is, the, is in the back of my mind right now. There you go. That's a great example. And you also used it in a sentence. Thank you. So, do you feel like you're more comfortable using this expression now? I think I am, yeah. Yeah, okay, good. Well, that's the idea is that you learn some things and feel more comfortable using them and saying them. Thank you, thank you. You're very welcome.